Hey guys, Kusha here with Exoscribe TV, and today I want to talk to you about C-sections and the effect on your immune system. So what most people don't realize is that when you're born naturally, when you're coming out of the birth canal, you're actually getting the, uh, the right bacteria. Your, your body is essentially being exposed to the correct bacteria at the right time. And that's basically your first incidence that you're gaining your, uh, your, your immune system. If you think about what your immune system really is, it's not your you know, helper or T cells or white cells or any of those things. Those are an emergency response system. Your, your gut flora, your gut ecology is really your immune system. So when you're first coming out of that birth canal, you're being exposed to bacteria in, in a manner that's going to help your body adapt to become immune to those things and help you become immune to certain things as you grow and, and, uh, and, and get older. When you're born through a C-section, it's different and you're not being exposed to those same uh, bacteria strains and what happens is throughout your childhood, throughout your uh, adolescence, uh, you don't develop the right type of immunity to those strains and, uh, and it can develop problems such as autoimmune diseases for the skin and autoimmune diseases for your, your gut and your intestines. Um, but those are just a few examples of what it can do. In my opinion, I think C-sections have become more and more prevalent uh, because of the fact that it's an easier uh, way out. And more importantly, if you think naturally, back in the day, we used gravity to help us with the birthing process. So when you take that out of the mix, of course, you know, laying on a bed is going to be a much more unfavorable position to be for the baby to come out. So that in itself is going to be a big factor in, in uh, whether or not you're, you're going to be in a position to have to have a C-section or not. Also, another thing to think about is look at the incidence of peanut allergies and, and other types of food allergies, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. It used to be that maybe one out of 100 kids you'd run into had some kind of peanut allergy. But nowadays, it seems like more and more, maybe one out of 10 or one out of 15, um, more or less, has some type of food or peanut allergy. And in my opinion, in my theory, it has something to do with this exposure to bacteria uh, in our youth and, and uh, during that birthing process. So there you have it. There are some of my opinions and beliefs on C-sections and your immunity. Thanks for tuning in to Extrascribe TV. See you soon.